I don't want to stir the pot here because there has been some polarizing opinions on TikTok about this being the new Hermes Birkin, but it is honestly giving Birkin vibes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a really, really exciting unboxing. We are checking something off of my 2024 wish list. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Reza. I talk all things personal finances and luxury goods. So if you're into that, make sure you're subscribed down below. Okay, I recently put out my 2024 wish list and if you've seen that you would know what bag this is you might also know it based off of the title of this video but I was really wanting the Romar go bag in either the 12 or the 15 and I honestly didn't think that it would come this soon I know that this bag has been very very popular over on social media over the last couple months and maybe that had something to do with how quickly I got this bag and the fact that it's pretty scarce at least at the time of filming it's sold out on most websites depending on the type of leather or size that you are looking for. So when I saw it on Matches Fashion and it was only one left, I knew I had to get it and that's what we're here to unbox today. So as I mentioned, I did get this bag from Matches Fashion. I'll just talk a little bit about Matches Fashion if you guys aren't familiar with them. And if you just wanna see the unboxing, I will also leave a timestamp at the bottom so you can fast forward to that. So I have ordered from Matches Fashion before I ordered my Dragon Diffusion bag and I've had a really great experience with them. I love that they include everything like duties and your taxes. So when it comes to your door, you're not surprised by a bill from DHL. The only thing is that they charge you in USD at least if you are Canadian. So make sure that you are looking at the exchange rate at the time. I'll get into the pricing of this bag and all of that as well later into the video. So I ordered this on Sunday evening and it arrived technically on Wednesday, but I missed a buzzer. So it came on Thursday for me and I was very impressed with how quickly it arrived from London to Vancouver. So I highly recommend shopping at Matches Fashion if you haven't already. I'll also leave a link down below to get 15% off your first purchase. So this box is massive, as you can tell. I did order something else, which will be in its own unboxing video potentially in the future, but it came in this big, beautiful box. But inside you can just see all of the beautiful branding for Matches Fashion. In full transparency, I did already take a look at this because I couldn't help myself and I wanted to make sure that I was going to keep this bag. So that's why it's partially open already. I also wrote myself a cute little note. Does anyone else do that when they buy themselves a like treat yourself gift? I always do that. I select a gift message to write myself and it's nice to read it when the package comes. So that's what that is. And inside, sorry, let me just put that away. So inside is this white dust bag. And if you know, you know, this is the Rose signature dust bag. Very, very minimal, very understated, which is really the essence of the brand. And inside is, I mean, you can already tell by the double handles, but you might be surprised at the leather and the hardware color. So I'm trying to be so careful not to scratch it. So you can already kind of tell what it is. I'm just gonna remove the protective dust cover on it. So this was actually packed so, so nicely by the row. I'm very impressed that it comes with this dust cover so that it doesn't scratch the leather. There's also so many like tissue paper on the inside so that it doesn't lose its shape. I had already taken them off just for the sake of this video, but the handles were also covered up. It was just so beautifully packaged. So let me take this off. And here we have the beautiful the Row Margot bag in the size 12 in saddle leather with gold hardware. So this was the number one thing on my wish list, and I'm so, so thrilled with it. It also comes with a leather strap that comes in just this plastic, which I will attach later on. I just want to give you guys my first impressions of this bag and the pros and cons and whether or not you should get this yourself. I'll hold it here so you guys can see the bag while I'm talking. So in that wishlist video, I did mention that I wanted either the 15 or the 12. I also said that I wanted it in the pebbled leather. So as you can see, this is the smooth saddle leather. And the reason why I went with the 12, not the 15, first of all, is because of 
of the size of the bag. I know all over social media, the 15 and the 17 are the ones that are so popular, the ones that everyone is getting. And I'm not saying that those aren't nice. Obviously I have it in my wish list. I also thought that I wanted the 15. A couple months ago, I went into Holt Renfrew and I wanted to try on the 15 just to see if that was a good size for me. They did not have a 15 in store to try on, but they did have a 12. And at that point, the 12 was not even on my radar. I know it's a newer bag. I figured I was gonna get a bigger bag like the 15, or if I were to go small, I would go like seven and a half or 10. I think a 15 is nice in theory and it could be good for travel, but for me and for what I wanted the bag for, I think the 12 was actually nice. I was a little bit delusional into thinking that I could fit a 13 inch MacBook in here. If you didn't know, the numbers on the Margot correspond to the width of the bag. And I, for whatever reason, thought a 13 inch MacBook would fit into this. It does not, I tried today, it won't fit at all. It might fit an iPad if you have an iPad that you're carrying around, but not a 13 inch MacBook. So as I was prepping for that wish list video, I was like, huh, actually a 12 could look nice on me. I would love to see it again or even try on the 15 and the 12. But when I went back to Holt Renfrew, they were completely sold out of the Marco. I think just because it got so popular over the last few weeks, over the last few months, people just ended up buying it so I couldn't even try it on and I was perusing on the internet and I was seeing that it was getting sold out everywhere except for matches fashion I saw that matches fashion had quite a few sizes and leathers and colors available so I was kind of stocking it on matches fashion and I was also stocking it on other websites to see if it would come back obviously this is a very high price point bag that I can't just bite the bullet and the other reason why I didn't want to just buy this was because I originally thought that I wanted wanted it in pebbled leather and not the saddle leather. A pebbled leather handbag would actually be more durable than a saddle leather. I have a Celine tote that is in pebbled leather that I've had since 2017 and it has served me for many, many years. It is my current tote bag that I bring to work and I just know that that type of leather will stand the test of time and if I was going to spend this amount of money on a Margot, I wanted it in pebbled. However, as I mentioned, sold out everywhere and the pebbled leather also only came in a silver hardware. Maybe I shouldn't say that. It came in gold hardware in the 15 because I know Neelam Ahuja, who is also here on YouTube, had that and she ended up selling it. I don't know if it ever came in the size 12 in gold hardware, but I haven't been seeing it. It's not on the Rose website. I was trying to figure out whether or not silver would be a deal breaker for me. I'm usually kind of really into the gold accents and I knew that the saddle leather came in gold. So these were all of my thoughts. The reason why I ended up buying this from Matches Fashion was primarily because I wanted to see the bag and try it on in the comfort of my own home, try it on with different outfits. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. I was definitely like, let me order it. They have free returns. They're pretty flexible on that. So I wanted to get it delivered here, try it on with all my clothes, try it on with all of my outfits, and then decide if this was the right size and leather and color for me. All of that to say, I ended up falling in love with the saddle leather. The leather is so luxurious. I don't actually think that you can tell through the screen how luxurious this leather is. I watched Neelam's review of this bag so many times. I definitely thought that I would get the pebbled leather because she mentioned that the saddle leather is just so delicate and it is delicate, but it's also so beautiful. And I am someone who is very careful with their bags. So I do think that I will take care of it. I won't try to baby it. I'll definitely use it as much as I can. The other thought process I had is I do have a pebbled Celine tote that I already wear. So the look of this leather is so different to that, which I kind of like to just have a bit of a different texture, different variety into my bag collection. And then the second piece was the gold hardware. I'm so glad I went with this because the gold hardware is is just it. I don't know if I would have loved it as much if I got it in silver and in pebbled leather. The saddle with the gold is just perfection. I'm so glad that I went with it. In terms of the size, again, I'm so glad I went with the 12, not the 15. I'd say that the 12 is perfect for my frame. It's the perfect like handheld bag or crook of your arm bag. I don't want to stir the pot here because there has been some 
polarizing opinions on TikTok about this being the new Hermes Birkin, but it is honestly giving Birkin vibes. And I say that because of the two top handles, especially in this specific size. I'll put the measurements down below, but it is very similar to the size of a Birkin 30. I definitely see why people are saying this is the next Birkin in this specific size. The other thing I wanna to add to this is the strap option for the size 12. So if you go with the 15 or the 17, it does not come with a strap just because it is way too big, but the 12 does come with a strap and I did try it on earlier. So I don't know if you can see that, but there is a D-ring on the side there as well as on the side over here. The strap you can actually go across. It's not adjustable, so it's only one length, but it is removable, which is great. I think that if you were in a pinch and you really needed to be hands-free, that is a great option to have the strap. It is quite big, but I would primarily carry this top handle or on the crook of my arm, but I love that there is a strap option in case you were, let's say, running through the airport and you just need to be hands-free or something. The other thing with the strap is it kind of reminds me of the Kelly, so it's giving Birkin vibes, but with the strap, it's giving like Bergen slash Kelly vibes, if you know what I mean. Other features, you do have feet on the bottom. So there's four feet. I need to take off the stickers. There is the row on each of the feet of the bag. And then in terms of the branding, you can see that the row is just hot stamped on one of the sides of the bag. And then also on the hardware, there is also the row on each of the buckles. So that is like the outside of the bag. And then on the inside, not sure if you can see, but there is like a T-bar that you can clasp onto here just to close the bag. There's also an option to cinch this even tighter on the side if you want. But other than that, there is no zipper closure. There is a zippered pocket on the inside that you can see. And then on this side is two pockets. So this wider one will fit your phone. I have an iPhone 13 Pro. And then the other pocket will fit a a small card holder so that is what the inside looks like in terms of the lining it is canvas but it's got this like beautiful herringbone design kind of reminds me of the loewe puzzle lining i really really like that and the canvas lining also allows this bag to be so light i don't know if i can emphasize this enough i feel like bags like this it looks like it's gonna be a heavy bag even without any stuff in it but it's actually a very, very light bag. That was like the first thing that I noticed when I picked up the bag from the box was that it's a very light bag. It is made up of all leather except for the canvas on the inside. But yeah, it is a very light bag. Obviously, as you put more things in it, it will get heavier, but that just depends on the person carrying the bag. That is a quick review. First impressions of the Roe Margot in the size 12. If you did not consider this size before, I would highly recommend you consider it. It is the perfect perfect size if you don't want anything too big. I would also recommend taking a look at the saddle leather. I know that it is quite delicate, but I think that if you're pretty good with your things, you should be okay. Obviously the hardware is your preference. I do think that it comes in both silver and gold, so that is up to you. I prefer gold. I do wanna do a quick what fits inside this bag because I think a lot of people are going to be really curious about that. I'm only gonna put things in here that are things that I would typically bring with me on a day-to-day -day basis. First thing is my phone. As I mentioned, there is a phone pocket on the side. That is what my phone looks like inside of that pocket. As I mentioned, I have the 13 Pro. The next thing I have is a six key ring holder from Louis Vuitton. This is where I house my keys and it's important to have this because otherwise your keys might scratch your bag. So I love bringing this. The other thing I have is a Celine sunglass case and it just goes in there really, really nicely. So that is what it's looking like. I also have a key pouch from Louis Vuitton, this one holds some extra cards and some cash, as well as my car key. And then finally, I have my new Celine card holder. This is just a slim version, so this can go in here pretty nicely as well. Those are really all the things that I carry. I've got my phone, I've got, let's say two wallets, a key pouch, as well as my sunglass case. And it does add weight to the bag, obviously, but it's not anything unbearable. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So yeah, you can see, I just took my phone out of that pouch, but you can see that everything fits in there really, really nicely. There is still so much space in there as well. But yeah, that is everything. I don't know if I mentioned pricing. I will put the price that I paid in USD on the screen. This is definitely a big treat yourself moment for me. I think this might be a really early birthday gift. My birthday is in May. I have a feeling that 
because of the rise of popularity of this bag they might do a price increase and they just don't want to pay any more than what it already costs today because it is an arm and a leg but yeah i'm definitely going to be enjoying wearing this bag if you guys have any questions for me about this bag please let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye you guys